Welcome to Hope Goat Farm. My husband Shane and I are expats from Toronto. They gave up the city life for a 200 acre piece of paradise. We started with four goats, now we have close to 40, as well as six horses, seven alpacas, 20 chickens, and five livestock dogs. All year round, we hold unique events for guests to experience the animals, the ins and outs of country life, and the beautiful landscape just north of Port Hope, Ontario. This is a peek behind the scenes at what goes on here at the farm. One day in the fall of 2015, a couple months after we moved here, these two ladies showed up in their Volkswagen Beetle, got out of the car and said, do you mind if we go for a walk and look around? And I said, no, of course. When they were done, they came back and they said, would you like us to volunteer for you? And that was Christine and Laurel. And when I said, what can you do? And they said, well, we could do plumbing, we could do electrical, we could shovel poop, we could renovate, we could put in doors, we could do a little bit of horse training if you want. By this time, of course, my jaw was down to the ground and I wasted no time in saying, yes, please come. <laughs> so we just started ultrasounding the goats about three years ago because we really like to know who's pregnant and who's not and if we should do something about it. So today we're doing the ultrasound. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a lot nervous actually because they don't seem to have taken or caught as we say in the trade. Uh, turn around. Easy left, easy. Easy, easy. Open. No! But I'm going to say she's open. No! Uh, she's open. No! Okay, so she's not done. No, she's got no pregnant baby. She's got pregnant. She's not pregnant. I even estimated a few of them. Maybe one of them. Two at 60. Hot damn. <laughs> so I have to say I'm a little disappointed, but I often have to say I'm not exactly surprised because it's been a strange year for the goats. Apparently not just here, but all over the province. And uh, conception rates apparently are very low. And somehow it seems to be the same way here. So of the 12 that we ultrasounded, four, maybe five are pregnant. So. Um, We'll see if we can figure out how to get some more pregnant in the meantime, but at least we know that four are going to have babies in the spring. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> we love when people come to the farm to share a little bit of the joy that we feel with our goats, and the Schmurgel's been terrifically successful. Yeah, so Schmurgel's sort of a word that we made up because we thought it kind of sounds like Schmurgel's is like hugging and because that's the goats. You know, when I ask my goat friends, what is it about goats? Like, people want to come and see them. They make you giggle and they're joyful. We're gonna walk with them through some of the fields and what we do is we end up back in the goat playground close to where we started. So if you don't get to snuggle them on the walk, don't despair, but do feel free if they're eating along the way to snuggle them and cuddle them and all that kind of stuff. The only thing you have to be careful with the goats, they may love you to death. Are you guys ready? Okay. Come on with me, come on with me. You ready? Release the goats! <laughs> keep going, keep going, yay! Come on, goodies! Come on, goodies, come on! We're gonna go this way. One of our guests on today's Schmurgle is Catherine. She's the one who actually introduced us to the idea of having a whole new store building on the farm. I discovered Oat Goat one day last year. My definition of a Schmurgle is getting down and dirty with the goats and kissing and cuddling and snuggling. Goats are so joyful and it's that energy exchange, you know, they will fill you up with happiness. I can't think of an angry goat. Mind you, they don't have much to be angry about. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the goats are Nigerian dwarf goats, so they're quite small. But we do have one Nubian goat who is huge. She's about twice the size of the other little ones. Who's there? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I can't wait to see the footage. Oh my god. Goats in snow. Today I think that they were just loving the weather, so it's not too hot. It's nice and crisp. Everybody can get up and play, and who doesn't love to play in the snow? I think we saw a lot of that on the Schmurgle. They were, you know, jumping around and being silly and being fun. I think it was good exercise for everyone because I must admit the little goats are a little round in their tummy. For me, it's very magical, beautiful. I put on a review where I said, you know, it restores your spirit, it restores who you are. So for me, it's a place to 
come and really connect with who I am and the things that I like. You're disconnecting from the rest of the world. So it's just for me, it's, it's a very magical place and you know, just means a lot to me.